Okay. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have a familiar face here. So basically I stole your makeup today. And I stole yours. Mm -hmm. We both tried like totally different things. Yes, we used all new products. Like things I think both of us have used before but don't use on a regular basis. Nope, I've never used these before. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> my bag is basically full of tart. Yes! <laughs> and a couple of other things but um, yeah, that's not your everyday stuff. And then we use like a little bit of everything. Makeup Forever, a little well tart Shape Tape, Laura Mercier, Lorac, Elsie. This one that um, she can't pronounce. Try it again. If you did not tell me I would have said Lise Waiter. Waiter? What is it? Lise Watier. Lise Watier. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> so, if you guys want to see how we achieved these looks without planning, without our own product, winging it. W literally winging it. Keep on watching. I got this bad boy. Full of a lot of good stuff. <laughs> oh my god, this static is just not my friend. No, it's horrible. Oh my god, and this is the. I. Oh my god, you don't use that? No, I know, I know, I know. What? I gotta use it, I know. It's Dude, like you're gonna you're done, you'll be done. I'm using the Laura Mercier primer. I never use this, but I actually used to use this, like back in the day. Oh my god, it's like I don't a know why classic. I stopped using it, yeah. You know what happens? New things come out and, and then you forget, forget. Mm -hmm. and then you you like retract and you go back. Totally. I'm using the Tarte base tape. I love that color. This is interesting. This looks like it is water-based, not silicone-based. And it's like coconut, it smells like coconut. Mm, I like it because it's like hydrating and smoothing. Hmm. Gotta get some color on this face. Oh my god. It's really scary. I, do you get really red? Oh, I you do. get red like I do too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I just like, sometimes I'm like, do I have red undertones? I think I have more yellow undertones in my actual skin, but because I get so red, yeah. I never know. You can look at your veins. See your green? Your veins are green? Yeah. Oh, you're green and blue. And purple. Okay, so you're probably neutral undertone. Okay. See, I'm pretty blue. I'm yeah. cool undertoned. Okay. But look how green that is. And I look know. how blue that is. So you're neutral. Okay. Oh, you could go both ways. Okay. I'm also going to use this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector because I love this. Oh my god. So I mix that with my foundation. Yes. It's so good. Done. Oh, also... Oh yeah. We're also switching sponges. Yes, I'm using the LC sponge, which I love this sponge. Do you use it? No, but you always use it on me and I love it. It's phenomenal. Yeah. And I'm using the Real Technique sponge. Yes. I'm going right. to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I've used the stick version of this. You're going face first? Yeah. I got to get this face. I got to fix this face. <laughs> I have the Tarte BB Tinted Moisturizer mm -hmm. and the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer. This is mm, more of a primer, but it's like a tinted primer, and this is like a tinted moisturizer. I, I like see. to go in with this and then this. Okay, this is light medium and this is medium. This is darker than this. Okay, so maybe I should try, try this. I mean, I'm not as dark as I think this I This is just more, a little more full coverage than this. Okay. Because that's a primer. So you're saying try this? Yeah, okay, try that. Do it. Start with it. We don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my glow drops in here, Clove and Hollow Hydro Glow. This is beautiful. Um, how do I? Yeah. So <laughs> this part. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so I mix it together. You can. You can do it with a sponge, or so what I do is just like tap into it. Yeah. Or okay. you can do it with your finger and okay. not the sponge, like I just told you to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or you can take the sponge and go like this. Got it. Okay. Same well, thing. What are you gonna What are you gonna do here? <laughs> oh yeah. This is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Tarte Light Medium. I love that. This is the Tinted Moisturizer. It's just like, I don't know, it like makes my skin look so naturally pretty. Yeah. Oh, it actually has pretty good coverage. Okay, yeah, it does, right? Yeah. Like that's why I don't I don't use a foundation when right. I use that. Well, sometimes I mix them together, but I mean, for I don't a Tinted Moisturizer, that was really good. I agree. Do you have a method of how you apply your foundation? Like in what fashion or just like I normally start over? in the middle of my face hmm. and I work my way out. Got it. Because I think most of my hyperpigmentation and discoloration yes. is right in the middle. So that's typically where you want, that's exactly what you should be doing. Oh, you good. should be starting at the middle of your face because that's where the most, like, to, like, exactly what you said. Okay. That's where the most discoloration, usually redness is, and then push the product. Yes, in. all my redness is right here. Sarah! Oh my god, I just No, this fat look you at the love color. it. Look, look it worked. Mm -hmm. Your okay. skin looks bomb. <laughs> I'm half through my hair up, but I'm not really sure if that's working. I mean, I look psychotic with this hairstyle. I don't care. <laughs> I was telling Garl I did not sleep last night. It's one of those nights where you're just up, you're just awake, and like your dreams are so real and they're so vivid, and you're just awake. 
And then you wake up and you feel like everything that you dreamt was real. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're both using Tarte. Yes, but mine's gonna be too dark for me. What are you? Let this. Yours is light neutral. This is yours is light neutral. Oh <laughs> shit. Well, you know what? I probably mix it with sand. Okay, go for it. Here. Is that allowed? Yeah. Thank it's you. Okay. This is what I love about this sponge. I feel like I'm gonna be able to get really, really where I need it. And I'm with gonna this. use my finger. Oh yeah. It just gets right in there. Wow. I also feel like since I have had eyelash extensions, mm -hmm. it's really hard to not like ding them or hit them when you're applying makeup with a sponge right. because sponges are so bulky. Right. Um, but this is really working. Yeah, that edge really helps. Uh huh. I like to use my finger to just push the product into my skin first. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set with Laura Mercier. Oh boy, she's a big she's a big tub. Oh yeah. Well, that usually comes with a cover, and I just took the cover Smart. off. Smart. It's just too much. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. <laughs> and I'm really excited to be using this Cover FX because I ordered it. It's so awesome. So, hint, hint, the Laura Mercier is better for oily skin, um, or if you have like a very long day, that's going to be your best friend. Mm -hmm. For drier skin, the Cover FX per Perfect Setting Powder um, is going to be a better option. That's why I use it because I'm so dry. Yeah. So when I put on the Laura Mercier, I like to just leave it on for like half a second. Yes. D and then get it off. The Laura Mercier. It is drying AF. Because I am so dry. So I'm using the Cover FX to set everywhere, but I'm not going to set under my eyes with the Cover FX. No, you're going to use that Kat, Kat Von D. D. Okay, this is the... Lee Soitier. <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> way I'm pronouncing Try it. That. Lee Soitier. But perfect. Am I French? Is that French? Yes. Wow. I'm so <laughs> French. This is in Havana Matte. Yes. It's a beautiful color. Looks gorgeous. Yes. Just gonna... Yes. Look at that. Yeah. That's beautiful. Nice. That is nice. Okay. I'm going in with the Kat Von D. What Shade was and it? Light. Shade and Light mm -hmm. contour palette. And I'm going to set under my eyes, mixing the yellow and this white, and it's just gonna brighten up under my eyes. I have been missing this in my life. No joke. It's also the creamiest like contour shades. Oh my goodness, this I is love beautiful. It. That Laura Mercier just sets you so fast. Ham. That you're like, whoa, yeah. I, need, I need color. Exactly. So I'm gonna start with the bronzer first and then go in with the contour, because if I do that. Oh, that's a cool trick. Yeah, if it blends a little bit better. Mm. I like that. Do you know if you put bronzer like right up to your eye and pull out, like right here in your temple? What does this do? It's gonna make you look like. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Just like it's like a facelift with bronzer, like this. So yeah. It's like a little. It's like a eye contour kind of. Yeah, exactly. Oh hell yeah! Do you have an eyebrow gel? Or am I gonna be just with these down pointed eyebrows? Today? No, I have it. Gar uses the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Yeah. In taupe, this is my shade. Oh, perfect. perfect. It's my fave. Yeah. I love putting on brows. It changes everything. Oh. I love sculpting brows on clients. Oh, I bet. That's probably my favorite part. Really? Just making, it makes their face come to life. Yeah. It does. It just it, changes your whole look. It frames your face. Yeah, You're it, like, yep, exactly. Wow, I can't believe you're gonna highlight right now. You're really throwing me for a loop. Do it. Do it? Me? Challenge yourself. Oh my god, okay. This is beautiful. It's honestly better on your skin tone than mine. It is very gold. Yes. This I, is I like the Jesse and Katie Fuego yeah, highlighter. I like to mix it with a more white yeah. highlight on my skin. Yep. Because it is quite dark. But when I'm spray tanned or when I'm tan, it's so pretty. I'm using Devotion Laura Mercier. This is like a pink champagne shade. Isn't it beautiful? That's so pretty. Do you guys see that? You can see that on camera. That is gorgeous. Okay, I'll use blush too. <laughs> but, like we we did the face. Let's finish with the face. I have then... the mother load though. Like I get to pick. <gasps> so any this is of my these. Z palette, and it's just like a bunch of different ones in there. There's Nars. There's Mac. Come on. Yeah. Get at me. <laughs> get on my face. Buckle. And I am using the Tarte. Yeah, that's the Aspen the... Ovard. Um... Aspen Ovard. Yeah. That's her blush. I That's like my everyday blush. Actually gonna mix these two. Yes, so this is MAC Flower Power. You can just take it out. Yes. See the pinky? Yeah. See what we're going for? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then whatever that one is. That baked one. This one? No, this one. This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't write it down. Wait, I know, this is a MAC one. Italy? London. Oh, 3BQ? 
See how I named all of them? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Why didn't I name why didn't I name that one? You were like, I don't really yeah. need to know. Sorry, I don't know it's the name fine. of it. You want to use a different one? <laughs> no. Oh my god! <laughs> he didn't say the color payoff was so intense. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, what do you need it? <laughs> no, it, it is. It's pigmented, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, be careful with the blush. It's pigmented. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, what what eye look are you doing? I gotta look at, oh god. Oh, I gave you this palette. Yeah. No, but I gave you the, I, oh, yeah, I, wanna use I that. saw this palette in my mm -hmm. kit and I was like, this is Sarah. Like, yeah, those could are this my, be Sarah anymore? Those are my tones. It's actually a really good blush too. I probably should have told you that. That's a beautiful color. Isn't it? Yes. Take a look at that. Velvet. Mm -hmm. From this little Morphe palette. So many of my subscribers were like, I bought that 3B palette after you used it and I'm obsessed with it. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's so, it's so easy universal. For yeah, people. right, exactly. But yeah, Natasha Denona. Here we go. I'm gonna honestly work my way down. I'm probably gonna do like this guy and then this guy and then mm, I don't know if I'll go. Ooh, maybe I'll do like an under eye cranberry little shimmery Beautiful. little situation. Yeah. And then, yeah, okay, we're going for it. And I'm going in with the Morphe and I'm gonna use this color on my crease. It's so hard when you don't know how a product will play out and yep. like. What's gonna happen? Yeah. Okay, so I've been doing this new thing in all my videos where, in my eyeshadow application, <laughs> just tell me why I'm doing it. I just see people do it, so I do it, but okay. I don't know why. Okay. Just, I think it looks really good. Yeah. When you blend your eyeshadow up underneath your eyebrow. I think what I like the most about it is like the way it, it makes the shape of my eye look. It will make your eyes look, I assume, like longer instead of more round. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I've been doing. And I, it makes your eyes look more hollow. Okay. All right, so it's like just a more intense like contour almost. Yeah, now I'm gonna do it. I it's bomb. I'm gonna I, do it and try it out. It's my thing now. So I don't know why, but my eyes look. If you guys notice, my eyes look very bloodshot today. It's weird. I mean, you also have like cranberry shadow on, so I feel like it can't really tell. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's honestly probably because I did not sleep last night. I'm going in with this dark color. This is gonna be really fun. It's that color so pretty. I guess I'm going for a really like smoky look. I love it. I'm going back in with those two shades I used on my lid and I'm going to do my lower lash line. Do you ever feel like you do your eye makeup and it looks good in the mirror and then when you're filming and like you look down you realize like you missed oh, a 100%. whole area? I don't oh understand why the that worst happens. Is when, the worst is when you film and then you take photos or you just like do your makeup for photos right. and then you see it in photos but you can't see it in person. It's it, so annoying. It doesn't make sense. That shade looks so good on I'm your gonna, lid. I, bullshit. <laughs> I also am realizing that like some things just don't work for me and my eye shape mm. like even though I love winged liner and I can do it uh, like you know I can pull it off mm -hmm. it is not the best look for me so I feel like a okay. lot of times for we myself. do things yeah I feel like a lot of times we do things just because other people are doing it and it's the trend but like do what looks good on you 100% yeah I'm just trying to like salvage this I don't know what's happening, but I, I'm not, I don't hate it. I like what's happening. I just need to commit. I need to keep going. I need to push forward. <laughs> Tell me you have this. I don't. Sarah. I, do I need, <laughs> I need this? Just take a look. Oh, yeah. Well, obviously, oh, yeah, I like, I, I, I mean, I it's this. dirty, but Give me this. it's gorgeous. Yeah, this is what I want. I gotta um put some lashes on because I look really easy. Can I, can you open that drawer? You look deceased? Yes. Gotta get that glue tacky. Oh yeah. That's the trick. I think that's the trick to applying lashes. Yep, and this is the other trick. When you, oh well, you have extensions. Yeah. But when you apply lashes on yourself, I like just discover this. Look down? Look down and then okay. go up, down. It, people go like this oh, and yeah. that doesn't Drop work. them down. Drop them down, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna fail at this task here. Of what? Of applying your makeup to my face. No, you're doing a good job. <laughs> it is crazy to just use other products that you're not used to using. Yeah, for sure. Oh no, my battery's low. How could that be possible? If the camera dies, I don't know what to say about it. If the camera dies, I'll still be here doing my lashes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> just started lashes, yeah. Yeah, I had. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna do my lip while this tries. Good idea. I am, oh, what is your lip? Oh, they're in there. Love it. Hey girl, bye. Desi. Desi. No time for a lip liner. Do we have a gloss? Uh, I do. It's in that drawer right there where you put the palette. Oh, oh my God, dude! This is this might be my wedding color. It's so good. It looks so good on your skin tone. You know what? I took this. Yeah. Okay. You have the L'Oreal Six Hundred One Nude Ballet. Staple. Staple. 
Okay, this lash is ready. <laughs> get it on, get it on, get it on. Okay. I need lip gloss also. I have it right there. Put it on me. Here. I need a set. No! Mar no, what do I use? Do yeah, right there. This? All of those. Oh, oh, oh. Any of those. I need do. This is Cover FX Dewy Setting Spray. I'm still here trying to put my lashes on. <laughs> I mean, if you finish this, I'll be so impressed. <laughs> oh my god, please stay on. Please. <laughs> I'm stressed for you. Still doing lashes. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Camera's gonna die, so we're doing our intro while we finish. This is a real risk here, real risk. All right, I think we nailed it. I mean, we killed it. You look good. So do you. You look really good. I just looked at you for the first time, for real. Thank you. Yeah, so you do look... you. That shadow, you use the shimmer on the I leg. I did. I like it. I always have to go for a shimmer on the That's leg. That's the Lorac one, right? Yes. Phenomenal. I, tr I try not to, but um, I have to. All right, guys, we did it. What do, what do we who, call this? Who won? <laughs> both winners at yeah, life. No, we both killed it. I'm so proud of us. Let us know what you guys think of these looks. We just kind of pulled these off. No plan. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. We proud literally were like, let's trade makeup ads. Yeah. We're done. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye. I, feel I can't like believe we, we kind of. I can't believe we did that before it died. Yeah. But we made it. We made we it. We made it. Thank also, God. we kind of. I mean, kind of ended up with similar, similar looks. looks. You're right. But like, what works for you and like what worked for me. Yeah. I'm proud of us. <laughs>